Hello? Ha! Angus McTech here with What's the Upside? In the run-up to Election Day, newspaper readers usually expect to see endorsements on the editorial page, but I question that practice. Newspaper endorsements have become much part of the American political process since the 1800s. American newspaper editors view endorsements as a vital public service, even though their impact is considered minimal. I still think they should keep their opinions to themselves. Newspaper editors see it as their duty to help inform the public and help foster a discussion about important issues. Some even think it is important in their civic duty. If their goal is to help voters make a smart, informed decision, then you should state correctly the position of the candidate, perhaps even some point or a counterpoint. That's it. Most New York newspapers have editorial boards made up of opinion writers, top editors, even company executives who decide the editorial direction. These editorial boards operate independent of the newsroom. And then who's the journalist? The journalists are expected to report the news without bias or favor. So why not have the editorial way do the same? It is obvious that Honolulu's privatizer is partisan, and their opinion leaders do have strong opinions about what is the best residents of their communities. So do you think even are smarter than you are readers? I didn't think so. There is no conclusive evidence to show that newspaper endorsements actually influence voters. So do us a favor this year. Stop endorsing candidates and just report. I'm Angus McTech for Think Tech Hawaii and Ibaji Talk. Be sure to watch us Fridays from 1300 to 1330 and follow us on YouTube. And remember, What's the upside?